Everybody and welcome to a new Jurassic World Evolution 2 live stream from our illustrious, fantastic, amazing uh, streaming room uh, here at Frontier. My name is Jens Eirik. I am part of the community team here at Frontier, and it is my pleasure to be your host for the next hour or so as we uh, check out this uh, fantastic community spotlight, which we do at the end of uh, every month, the last Friday of every month. We uh, 
set aside an hour or so to uh, take a look at some of the amazing things that you out there in the Jurassic World Evolution 2 community have uh, made in the last month or so. So we're going to be checking out a lot of really cool park designs. We're going to check out some dinosaur screenshots. We're going to look in on one of our ongoing competitions right now as well. Uh, before we do any of that, let me just take a quick look down in chat to see who we've got here. Joel C is here. Heather G is here. Osric is here. Shout outs to the mod team. Nikosaurus Rex over on YouTube. Uh, we've got El Louisiana 7. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Arachno Raptor is here as well, saying welcome, fellow dino fans and nerds. It's great to have so many people here. It's really, really cool. There's hundreds of people watching. That's amazing. I'd love to see it. Uh, luckily, I'm not going to be. Able, I'm not going to do uh, this entire stream alone. I am joined by a uh, fellow community manager, Francesca Falcini. Oh, hey. Hello. Hi. How's it going? It's good. I'm excited to be on my first Jurassic stream. Yes, it is your first Jurassic stream. Why? Uh, why? No. <laughs> why? <laughs> How does it feel to to be on camera for for Jurassic? Yeah, it's very exciting. I'm normally kind of siphoned off on the zoo stream, so mm -hmm. this is this is pretty cool to be here. I mean, you you're also doing. Today you're doing your recorded video debut and yeah. your Jurassic it's livestream a big day. <laughs> debut because we did a thing for for Planet Zoo as well where you were the yeah. the I was, host. I was a roaming educator. Yeah. I grilled you on your animal facts. Yeah, yeah. And now I get to educate you <laughs> oh, about <great>. dinosaurs. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's a nice little trade-off. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, you're part of the community team. You yeah. uh, work with me on Jurassic. You work with El Tannen on Planet Zoo. I do indeed. You you help out with. Uh, a little bit of everything, really. Running around all the time, yeah. doing all things community, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and um, I know that, uh, I mean, the community has absolutely seen some of your work. They may not have known that you, yeah. it was you who was behind it, but like you've written several of the uh, species field guides, for example. Yeah, like I've definitely upped my dinosaur knowledge since <laughs> I started <laughs> For <working>. sure, <laughs> for sure. Uh, you've helped out with, at least behind the scenes on, on live streams as well. So yeah, yeah. it's good to have you. I'm really camera. excited to be here, yeah, actually. That's yeah. great. That's fantastic. Really and good. the uh, chat is happy to see you as well. Heather says, good to see you. Fran, Joel says, great plan as a video. We're not going to talk too much about it. But obviously, we're here to yeah. talk about Jurassic. But uh, I mean, you can compliment me as much as you like. I'm OK with it. <laughs> yeah. See? So yeah, all the compliments <laughs> you can towards Fran. Yeah, thanks. Um, but yeah, how do, you, what do you, how do you feel about dinosaurs? Um, well, I spent about the first 10 years of my life terrified of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and now I'm pretty pretty excited to be able to work on Jurassic World Evolution yeah. too. I love dinosaurs now. Was it Jurassic Park that made you feel like, oh no, what if they come back? It actually was <laughs> because that came out when I was one year old and right. I accidentally watched it when I was about five mm. and was terrified of the T-Rex somehow coming into my house at night time and eating me. Yeah. I don't think anybody told me that dinosaurs like were extinct, so I, I was probably terrified for a little while there. Yeah, there, there's that level of sort of childish imagination. Yeah, we're just <laughs> exactly. like, oh, this thing on TV, it has to be real because yeah, it, just, it looks so real. Yeah. So what if they? What if they <laughs> How would they have filmed it if it wasn't real? Exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> so uh, yeah, comment from Osric in chat. Uh, <laughs> one year old, not feeling old here at all. <laughs> so sorry to Osric for <laughs> making you feel your Very age. Very sorry. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, and uh, of course, how do you how do you feel about pictures of dinosaurs uh, from the game? I, <laughs> I feel like I've, I've big recovered. Parks. I promise, <laughs> I've recovered from my fear. I think I'm going to be pretty good. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to Arachnoraptor saying dinos rule. We absolutely agree. Uh, <laughs> El Talon says that they're going to come into the office in their dinosaur costume and tor torment you. <laughs> Great. But we would know that it was you, El. Yeah. So I don't I'm think it would it work now. that much. Yeah. But we're, I mean, and now we're, now we're 100% ready for it as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was a terrible idea to warn me. Uh, where will we be checking out community stuff? I mean, here on the stream. And uh, so what I've done is I've gone into, uh, I've gone into where you, where you, where you lurk on the internet. Uh, no, to be real, I've uh, gone on to places like Reddit, our forums, our uh, social channels. I've checked out a bunch of your stuff on Twitter. Uh, went into the fan Discord and uh, just sort of picked out some stuff that I thought was cool. And uh, we're, just gonna, we're just gonna look at them and talk about it. And then if we uh, have a bit of time towards the end of the stream, I think we can jump into our community park as well to see how that one is doing. Because uh, uh, I would like to introduce Fran the human <laughs> to Fran the dinosaur. 
That would be nice. Because there is one. <laughs> of course there is. Yeah. Why would there not be? <laughs> exactly. There is a Fran the dinosaur, there's a Jens dinosaur, and an Italian dinosaur. Okay, no and, Tim? Uh, <laughs> there is no Tim <laughs> yet. We'll figure it out. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> we will absolutely figure it out. So uh, I think we can uh, just uh, jump into the first set of uh, screenshots here. And uh, we're going to look at some part designs. Mm -hmm. uh, before we do that, I'm going to have a drink of water so our technician can get that lined up. Excellent. Perfect timing. <laughs> uh, so this first set of screenshots comes to us from, uh, and I'm sorry if I'm butchering the username, Conorontology? Yes, Conorontology. Uh, good name, but uh, absolutely uh, very easy to stumble over. This is called the uh, Jurassic Eden Park. And uh, they say that this is a uh, smaller scale park loose based on what's known as the Eden Project in Cornwall in the UK. Are you familiar with the Eden I Project? I am. I've been there quite a few times. I am not. What is the Eden <laughs> no. Project? It's essentially, I'm sure chat will tell me if I'm wrong, but it's essentially a giant greenhouse full of like tropical okay. plants and things like that. It's a huge sustainability project, so they try to make it as sustainable as possible, and it actually looks pretty close to the screenshot, to be fair. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wish I'd gone to the Eden Project now, so I could actually s actually compare the two. But uh, yeah, uh, I think we can cycle through some of these. I don't think this is the first picture. I forget which picture this. Uh, I'm going to bring this up on my laptop here as well, so I know which one I'm actually looking at. Give me a quick second while I stall for time. And come on, computer. If Work I could whistle, I'd do some like elevating music, but I can't. Da da just da imagine da it. Da <laughs> da 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 no, this was the first screenshot. Never mind. <laughs> I'm being silly. So yeah, uh, and uh, well, yeah, you, you mentioned that it looks like the real thing. I think we can move on to the next one. Uh, so this is the uh, park entrance, highlighting the natural beauty of the Cornish landscape. This is, of course, built on the uh, the UK map, yep. which I think is based on Cornwall as well. Is that actually? I believe it actually is, because it's, it's very coastal and like green. Okay, Not that I've been to Cornwall. You haven't been to Cornwall at all. No, I've been <sighs> in the UK a bunch of times. I've mostly been to London. Okay, we'll have to uh, we'll have to arrange a trip just yes, for you. Yes, I do want to go because uh, I hear a lot of good things about Cornish pasties. I'm not They're personally Cornwall, a right? fan. They They're are from Cornwall. Right. Oh. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> I was very worried that I was like offending people. No, they're actually from Shropshire, so. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, yes, featuring the natural beauty of the Cornish landscape, featuring a fossil museum detailing the history of paleontology's origins in the UK. Uh, there's, you know, there's some lore around this stuff as well. But I really like what they've done uh, with the entrance, decorated it around with uh, some park lights, some individually placeable trees. Nice rocks, got a nice uh, lake there as well. And you know, it seems like a nice place you'd want to visit, in my opinion. I would go. Me too. And I, I want to go to the actual, uh, the actual place uh, there as well, uh, to be quite honest, because it, it sounds like an interesting place. Uh, Dino Hunter says that it is a great park, so that's fun to hear. Let's uh, go to the next s picture. Ooh. Uh, so. Let's see here. Uh, this, I believe, is the uh, Proceratosaurus paddock, which is flanked by the management area, looking out onto the peninsula. So you can see the uh, sea in the background there. It's got a, a lovely, nice little look to it. There's a, I think it's a fossil zone in the middle as well, a bit of a shopping area. Again, really using the game for what it's worth, using the decorative options, adding in you know rocks and trees and uh, the planters and everything else. I think they've done a really, really good job. Yeah, it does look very lush, very in keeping with the actual Eden project. Mm. You'll just have to take my word for that. Though. Yes, I'm 100% <laughs> taking your word for it. So, you know, you can tell me whatever you want about the Eden project, and I'll just be like, oh, fascinating. Tell <laughs> me more. We actually have real dinosaurs right there. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, we can go to the next one. And then uh, this next sector is the Biodome Gorge, with uh, two biohabitats exhibiting an arid coastal environment and a flock of dimorphodons and a tropical rainforest biome. So my understanding from your uh, description is that they have these domes as yeah, well. Yeah, they do the have these thing. domes and there is actually a tropical one. Well, at least there was when I went there. Mm. I went there about five years ago, but yeah. Cool, so it's still looking pretty accurate to the real thing so far? I think so, from what I remember. I'm sure chat will correct me if I'm completely wrong. <laughs> <and they've laughs> Let's see here if there are any uh, specific comments from chat as well. 
uh, people saying this looks interesting, and uh, Monster Freak saying beautiful. You got this. You got this. You got this. So, uh, and uh, just enjoy the dinosaurs and park pictures. Absolutely, that's what we're trying to do here. Uh, I think we can go to the next one. Ah, yes, <gasps> here we are in the lagoon. Uh, lagoon at the base of the gorge exhibits an ichthyosaurus, plesiosaurus, and atomborosaurus, all discovered on the UK's Jurassic coast. Uh, this would be the atomborosaurus, if I'm not mistaken, uh, because it is similar to the yes, because the plesiosaurus has a much smaller yeah. face. I uh, knew that one. Yes, I'm really because you wrote the species still yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I mean, I'm not only impressed by how people like design and make their parks, but also how they photograph it. Yeah. Photograph it, because in a lot of cases, it's very easy to just, oh, here's the thing, and I'm just going to take a bunch of pictures. But a lot of our community members, they put a lot of thought into picking the correct framing, picking the correct mm. angle, picking the correct lighting. And I think like this is definitely an, uh, an example of that, because like, I love these photos. We can see just the, the um, surface of the water and just sort of the, the split sort of that just in the middle of the frame as well we can see happening what's happening both above and and below the uh, the surface I think it's really really nice yeah the composition is absolutely incredible especially 100%. because you can see one of the domes in the background it's just a really really nice shot yeah. it's the kind of shot I wish I could take in my parks yeah are you much of a photograph yeah. person I try to be yeah it doesn't work out quite as well as this but mm. I try the thoughts there <laughs> uh, the the Great Toadmaster says, I wish I'd known about this community spotlight. I have a park that's loosely based on the Reykjavik National Zoo in Iceland. Please tag us on uh, Twitter at JW underscore evolution and we can feature that in, the fu in a future community spotlight because that sounds amazing that and I would love incredible. to see it. That sounds really, really good. Uh, there's also uh, a couple of threads on our forums as well, forums.frontier.co.uk. And I know that, yeah, Heather already put one of the uh, one of links one of the links in the chat. So please hit us up anywhere. Uh, tag us with what you have, and we would love to uh, share it and retweet it and showcase it on these uh, these streams here. All right, next screenshot, please. Uh, let's see what it says here. The third stop is the Cretaceous Safari, with uh, three paddocks housing Metriacanthosaurus, Baryonyx, and Iguanodon with Polacanthus. <coughs> there is a lookout post panning down on the to the onto the peninsula, and the ranger and veterinary teams are located here in the midpoint between all exhibits. Again, using the individual placeable trees and the rocks to just their sort of full potential, and a nice little sort of shopping area in the middle there. At least that's what it looks like. It looks like amenities from where I'm sitting. And again, really nice framing. You've got, the, you've got like nice movement in the picture with the paths. Uh, and you can see uh, the mountains in the background as well. I really yeah. like it. Again, just a really lush shot. Like, I For can't sure. remember the last time I saw a park that was so green. Mm. It's such a nice way to use those individual placeable trees as well. Definitely. Uh, we can go to the next one. And this would be a forest campsite to the south of the sector for special groups of guests to get the full Jurassic experience. So I'm assuming in the sort of head canon of this park, this is where you would go to sort of camp out and maybe yeah. see some dinosaurs, maybe up close. Um, yeah, using the, I think this is from, these are from the um, DFW uh, facility decorations, uh, the tents and everything, so you can basically get some sort of I'm assuming sort of maybe like an archaeological dig or like looking yeah. for, for fossils, things like that. Uh, I like it, like it a lot. And then of course we have the lagoon overlooking the, uh, the uh, sea here as well. There's a, let's see here. We arrive at the Laia Pluridon Lagoon, complete with innovation center, marine amphitheater, and long stay hotels. I mean, this looks like something out of a tourist brochure. It really does. It really, really does. I can does. just imagine the view from those hotels. Yeah, I mean, imagine walking out onto your balcony and then there's just, there's a big old lagoon there. There's a there. giant lagoon. And you know, like, in there is an ancient creature that lived millions of years ago. And then you've got the sea out there and everything else. And I really like this. It's incredibly well done. Really, really incredibly well done. Uh, there's a comment here from Duo Foxtail saying, just an FYI, a real world Jurassic Park is not so far-fetched. 
Uh, years ago, I saw a short documentary about some paleontologists studying fossilized bones. They cracked open a few and discovered unfossilized soft tissue, including veins and blood cells in the bones. Okay. Well, I guess that's the DNA taken care of. We just need to do the whole, you know, making Making <laughs> dinosaur. them. Dinosaur. <laughs> Where's my water? There it is. Oh, dear. I'm not sure how I'd feel about actually going <laughs> to mm -hmm. experiencing dinosaurs up close. I think I'll just enjoy the screenshots for now. I think it would be very interesting, but I, um, I, I also think I would maybe want to go to maybe just a nice like herbivore park yeah. to start with, maybe with some of the smaller ones. Yeah, just a couple of really small dinos, yeah. and then we'll go from there. Yeah, that yeah, seems or fair. Or just like the sort of oldest, like gentlest triceratops. <laughs> like I know it probably won't charge if it's I'm It's probably that concerns <laughs> me. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I love this one. Uh, Caesar creates. Welcome to the stream. Love to see, lovely to see you in chat. And uh, yeah, short walk from the uh, Lagoon and uh, Innovation Center is the Megalosaur Mountain, where guests can observe the first dinosaur ever named, which is the Megalosaur, and also stay at an exclusive Mountain View Hotel. And we've got a nice uh, ranger team wearing the dinosaur protection group uh, skin here. Again, very good screenshot, very nice framing, very good balance in the picture as well. And just Megalosaur, nice looking dinosaur. Nice looking dinosaur. Yeah. Slightly threatening looking dinosaur, but... It nice. is a carnivore, so they all well, look... Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're designed to scare you away a little bit. For, for sure. Uh, so yeah, I think the last one is an overview of the entire thing. Yep, absolutely. And uh, I just, yeah, I love the, love the look of this and how they've used the different different areas of the map as well to sort of put yeah different things in it you can see some of the uh the um path design that they made as well and then you've got the beach on the side as well it looks i mean this could almost be sort of a resort oh yeah place. for sure and it does look very cornish yeah yeah all right i need to <laughs> i need to go to cornwall and compare the two just me talking about cornwall <laughs> and you being like yeah sure whatever you say yeah. Fran. Would you want to go to visit if this was real? I mean, you said earlier yes. that maybe not, but... Uh, well, I'd go. I probably just wouldn't go too close to the dinosaurs that might eat me. Sure. I think that's fair. Mm. I'd like to go, so maybe stay on around the edges, in one of the hotels around the edges, so that I have an easy way to get out. Yeah, if in case you need to run. Yeah. It's like, all right, I'm going to just be on the very edge of this <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just be escape. safe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we can jump on to the next one. So... Uh, this isn't so much... Ah, yes, here we go. There we go. This is from Persian King 44 on the forums. Uh, previous one was collected from, uh, from Reddit. That was Connor Ontology. Thank you so much for sharing that on Reddit. This is from uh, Persian King on the forums, which I just think is some nice screenshots. So they've put together a uh, Paris Roll of his Lux observation platform. Uh, Paris Roll of his Lux, of course, is the Paris Roll of his skin introduced in the uh, Camp Cretaceous Dinosaur pack which allows your Parasaurolophuses, yes, Parasaurolophus, hmm. Parasaurolophi? No, Parasaurolophuses. Maybe. Parasaurolophus. Anyway, <laughs> to become bioluminescent during uh, the night. And so they made this nice little, uh, this uh, sort of um, observation station for them. So here we have the observation platform. We can move on to the next screenshot. A nice path uh, around this area as well. Next screenshot, please. Some capture equipment, because, you know, sometimes you need cages to put them in. Uh, and then some trees to hide the observation platform, most likely from the dinosaurs, since I'm assuming this is meant to be some sort of wildlife observation yeah, area. So. And then, of course, we have the, the great Parasaurolophus sort of valley as well. And I think they've used the, the concrete dividers as a sort of fence type. Yeah, it looks like uh, it. Which I think is a very creative way of, of doing it. Of course, you've got the amazing looking Parasaurolophus uh, glowing in the background. And I think this might be my favorite skin of the entire game. Oh yeah, 100%, mine too. And because I honestly did not expect us to ever do this in the game, no. so when I saw news about <laughs> it, I was like, oh yes, amazing, this looks so well, good. Well, I got to write the species field guide on it, and I was so excited just <laughs> looking at the screenshots of what was coming, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, it's my favorite, that's they for look, sure. They look so amazing. and. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, Persian King Forty Four, for uh, sharing. I think uh, next up we should have some uh, more in the line of sort of building tips. 
This was also shared to uh, Reddit as well. This was from Baba Yaga 57 uh, saying that uh, here's a neat way to have your in-game signs light up when it's night. So basically, you place uh, light up planters or lights in front of the signs, which will then help them uh, light up really and, and start glowing. I think that's really, really cool. So they've s set aside uh, sort of one instance for all the different types of tours and all different types of signs in the game. And then a nice little sort of overview shot as well. Can we go back to the first one uh, so we can see it? Just scroll all the way back. There we go. So we've one for the aviary, of course. And then next one is one for the lagoon. And I think they're using, they're, yeah, they're using the same, same planter and same sort of decorations uh, on the sides. But it looks, it looks really nice. It looks really nice. I might have to steal that technique. Yeah, me too. I'm going to try to use it in uh, one, of my, one of my sandbox parks in the, in the future. So uh, well done to uh, Baba Yaga and a uh, good building tip for anyone out there. Uh, nice looking signs, nice looking uh, design, nice looking building stuff. Yeah, Elusiana said that's a really good idea. Yeah, 100%. Mm. Uh, all right, so I think moving on, we're heading out to Isla Sorna. Uh, this was also, ooh, I need to look up who made this actually. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, this is from Montgomery Rex. This was also shared to the uh, Jurassic World Evolution uh, subreddit. Uh, this is uh, the Isla Sorna Park with all new Camp Cretaceous dinosaurs and skins. And of course, this is a nice sort of aerial shot of the entire thing. They've got the monorail going through there. You can see they've sort of sectioned off different areas of the park as well. But there seems to be a lot of room for, for dinosaurs to walk around and enjoy themselves. Yeah, I've never quite wanted to go on a monorail within a specific <laughs> park before. <laughs> it's really? quite as much as I do like right now. Mm -hmm. Like that track is just so all encompassing. I think it will take you through most of the yeah. park actually. Because it starts off at I think it's the entrance in the top left corner and then it will just sort of bring you and there's sort of a hotel area uh, in the uh, on the right hand side there as well. Um, so yeah let's uh, go on to the next one. This is the uh, Scorpius Rex containment facility within the uh, <laughs> within the park. <laughs> Probably a good idea to do double fencing because they've got the electric fences and then the concrete fences <laughs> on the sure. outside. And also, yeah, double gates just in case the uh, Scorpius tries to uh, tries to escape and tries to get out. See, now that's the kind of park I want to go to. Double fences around anything. Yeah, and like you're very that. high up and yeah, far exactly. away from the dinosaurs. Just standing there with your binoculars looking, yeah. <laughs> looking down <laughs> That's the them. exact experience I want. <laughs> mm. Dinosaurs from a distance. And uh, we've got a nice little dining area next to the fountains. I've seen a lot of these uh, pop up as well from the community, and it's really nice to see that they've made these like sort of plazas and then put down the either planters or fountains and then made sort of nice little dining mm. areas around them. So I think that's really, really cool. Uh, El Louisiana says, always double fence. James Yito <laughs> says, that's cool. Arachnoraptor says it's really cool. I'm assuming they're referring to the Scorpius Rex uh, uh, enclosure. But yeah, it looked looked really good and yeah. it's a really good design in my opinion i always struggle with trying to like make the fully the round oh yeah uh, i can never get fences. it quite no perfect. it's never quite but it was it was well done how they managed to, to do it well so done. i'm curious to see how long this actually took to um to uh <laughs> to put together <laughs> uh dino hunter says that this stream is giving me so much inspiration that's wonderful that's what we're here for and uh, uh Yes, let's go to the next one. Just seeing if there were more stuff. And there we have, uh, yeah, a view from the entrance coming into the, um, coming into the innovation center. We've got a nice little dining area on the left side there. And it just, it looks real nice. Again, composition on point. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, there's uh, G. Clothier in chat asking, I'm supposed to double fence? I mean, if you want to, <laughs> you don't have to. As long as you keep your dinosaurs happy, <laughs> they should be fine. But you don't you know, you know. Sometimes, yeah, they say they like to live dangerously. So it could, sometimes that's a good idea. Sometimes, uh, sometimes that's, uh, that's uh, sometimes you, you live dangerously. I don't know. <laughs> 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 that, is the, uh, that is the Isla Sorna Park from Montgomery Rex. Thank you again for, for sharing that. And then let's head over to the last park we'll be taking a look at before we're jumping into some dinosaur screenshots. I don't think it would, I, was planning out the stream, and I thought to myself, we have to do 
a recreation of Jurassic World from yeah. the film. And of I gotta say, this just first screenshot I saw, I just thought, yeah, yeah hundred percent. We need to include <laughs> this because this almost looks like it could have been taken from the film, if I'm being quite honest. Yeah, that's pretty accurate as far as I remember. Yeah. And uh, all right, looks like our producer is coming in to take care of a little mic issue. Thank you very much, Mr. Producer. <laughs> and we're back. Are we good now? Is my sound OK? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Heather G says it looks just like the real thing. It looks perfect. That's great. So this is the main street, of course, as you can remember from the film. This is where the final battle between the, uh, the Indominus Rex and the, uh, the T-Rex took place and the raptors. And this is, of course, where all the f uh, flying reptiles come in and attack. This is where um, uh, I forget their name now. Um, Jimmy Buffett picks up his two margaritas <laughs> and runs away, <laughs> <laughs> apparently. <laughs> and now uh, we can go on to the next, uh, next screenshot. And uh, another nice view here of uh, Main Street. Again, really nice composition. Just amazing, really, really. Uh, really, really good work, in my opinion. I feel like I would get that as a postcard if I'd gone to visit. Yes. I mean, this <laughs> absolutely looks like something they would sell in the, the gift shop going out. Yeah, like 100%. Pick up a memento. Yeah. Here's a postcard, and you buy like 10 of them. Yeah, unless you're a coward like me, and you just go to the gift shop and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> you spend all this money, <laughs> yeah. all this travel. It's like, all right, gift shop, good. I'm out. Yeah, Bye. just to tell everyone I went. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> all, this, all this money on the luxury resort. Didn't see any dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fun fact, says Miriam and Chad, I recreated the Jurassic world used in Fallen Kingdom Chaos Theory. Cool, very well done. If you are, are able to share it, we would love to see it. But yeah, welcome to Jurassic World, as they say. Uh, so let's uh, jump to the next picture. Uh, we've got an aerial view here of the uh, main lagoon, where there's most likely a Mosasaurus swimming around. And uh, we've got the hotels there as well, looking very, you know, resorty and all that. I like the sort of combination that they do with, you know, luxury resort and theme park in one. Yeah, I see what you mean. Mm. Uh, and another great placement of the monorail, because then I can just go past <laughs> nice yeah, and safely. Yeah, for fun. sure. Yeah, now you can just be like, oh, is that a shadow? That's th is that the thing? <laughs> all right, cool. Seen it. <laughs> Done. <laughs> That's exactly it. That was 100% <laughs> my intention. <laughs> All right, we can go to the next one. Uh, entrance here, entrance area. They're using some of the, uh, the forest brush here and the signs and the, uh, the uh, fountains. That's the word I'm looking for. And it just, yeah, it all looks great. Let's <laughs> go to the next one. And a nice entrance close up. I see they've put down. Several of the planters, they put the mm -hmm. lights there on the side as well, sort of framing the entrance as you come in. And I think there's sort of a uh, T-Rex Kingdom-ish area off to the right there as well. And also using these uh, individually placeable trees as sort of, um, not mile markers, but basically <laughs> putting them on the, uh, the paths as well. Yeah. And I think that's a nice way of sort of marking out where people can where people can go and sort of splitting the, the path there as well. It's good to know that if you're running, you can kind of tell where the path's about to go. Yes, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a good sort of frame of reference to be like, all right, just, just go with the trees, and then at some point we should hopefully get out. <laughs> so next one. Uh, just a lovely screenshot, in my opinion, of uh, from one of the, uh, the eateries on the main street. And I just I chose this one because I just really like the framing. Yeah, I really like and the framing. Just on this. imagine sitting there having a nice meal, and hopefully none of the dinosaurs <laughs> will break out <laughs> and attack. <laughs> That's always the strength. Uh, Arachnoraptor is asking, "Where's Rexy though? Maybe she's resting. I think this is a series of screenshots focused mainly on the parks, but mm. uh, there might be some. You, you're going to see some dinosaurs. Uh, going to see some dinosaurs later, for sure." Uh, We've got here, I, I call this Aviary Road, which, you know, it's going by the aviary. You can see the uh, Tranodon flags are using the uh, trees and the lights and the flags sort of intermittently. You've got the monorail sign on the right there. Just a, yeah, also something you would see in a tourist brochure. Yeah, for I sure. Think, for advertising this, uh, this park here. So let's jump on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be. 
uh, quite Jurassic uh, World or Jurassic Park without a shot of a toilet, in my opinion. No. Uh, so Can't I, do it. I have feel, felt like I had to show one of the restrooms in this uh, sort of resort area here as well. Yeah, I think that was a good call. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. Next up, we've got the gyrosphere entrance, right where one of the uh, where the monorail ends. I think this might lead into because in the film it leads into this like big sort of herbivore valley yeah. type situation. So I'm assuming it's going to be something similar in in this park as well. And then finally, we've got the nice bird's eye view, and just it's a big park. It's huge. They're really using the map for for what it's worth, in in my opinion. Yeah, I didn't quite get the scale until we saw the aerial view. Mm -hmm. Now we're Yeah, <laughs> it's really nice. It's really really nice. Uh, and I think that's it for our park screenshots. So uh, shout out once again to everyone who shared uh, all the stuff on forums, on the subreddit, on the Discord, etc. Uh, this uh, Jurassic World Recreation, I forgot to credit to Jarl Jostad over on uh, Reddit. I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, and uh, I think we can move on to some dinosaur screenshots. Now, some of these are from Discord, some of them are from our forums, and a couple are from Reddit, and then I think there's one way at the end that's also from Twitter. And uh, I think people are gonna people are gonna like to see what we have to see. <laughs> <laughs> Bob in a box says, "Great screenshot, thank you very much." I picked them myself. I didn't take them. Uh, first up, we've got Fang from Discord. Now, uh, if you haven't been reading the patch notes from the latest update, uh, in update two we added in uh, socialization between the Indominus Rex and the Raptor, and so here we have Fang essentially recreating a scene from Jurassic World yeah. where Blue, the uh, Velociraptor, uh, has a bit of a chat with the Indominus Rex. And the Indominus Rex uh, sort of taking control as the lead alpha of the group. And it's just a really cool screenshot. And if you uh, haven't seen any of their interactions, I encourage you to build an enclosure, put an Indominus in there, put a couple of raptors in there as well, and they, they will start to cohabit, and they will start to socialize, and they have animations and calls with they do with each other. It just Looks really, really cool, uh, in my opinion. And uh, <laughs> I really, <laughs> I really like the framing on this. I really like the way they've chosen colors that sort yeah. of go, uh, like they are sort of put into opposition of each other. This one comes in from Sage from our forums, and uh, I thought this was really cool and really nice. And it's, it can be annoying sometimes when the dinosaurs fight because they can yeah. get injured. But it's also very fun to just see them, you know. Plus, this screenshot, I can just pretend they're head booping really, like, affectionately. <laughs> yeah, they're just big yeah. cats. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> how it works, right? <laughs> Dinosaurs are nothing if not big cats. Yeah. Uh, this also uh, taken in the Pennsylvania maps, one of the uh, uh, very beautiful maps that we have in the game mm. with the uh, lovely sort of autumn-colored trees in the, uh, in the background. But yeah, I saw this one and I thought, yeah, this is, uh, this is really, really good. Uh, next up, this comes in from the mighty Megalosaurus from our forums. It's just a nice picture of an Indominus mm. Rex resting, because sometimes dinosaurs need to rest too. Looks so much more peaceful than they actually are. Yes, hundred <laughs> uh, percent. They do. They do have those moments where they will just yeah. sort of stop and just be like, "All right, I'm going to lie down now, scratch my head a little bit, and I'm back." Like, See, big cats. Yeah, big cats. <laughs> Uh, next one is from none other than Tom Jurassic. Shout out to Tom Jurassic, one of the uh, just incredible, incredible dude overall, and who takes amazing screenshots. Oh yeah. I just his uh, way of framing a shot and using the different elements in the game to make that shot look its best is really, really cool. Uh, I think in this one he has had a ranger team throw out some flares, which is where the red lighting comes from. Oh, I see. Yeah, and then angle the camera properly so the lighting sort of hits hits the Scorpius Rex on the, the other side, as it were. Uh, but yeah, the red lighting and the smoke is from, from ranger flares. That's such a clever way to get this shot. Yeah, it's amazing. I like Tom, Tom takes incredible pictures. And if it were up to me, I, I could just show <laughs> his entire screenshot <laughs> portfolio and just be like, just just do what Tom does. <laughs> <laughs> they look incredible. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a question in chat. What's the use of the ranger team flare? So if your uh, rangers are heading into a, an enclosure, you can have them throw out a flare, which will distract the dinosaurs. 
and basically have them run up to the flare and just sort of poke at it, look at it, maybe roar at it for a little. And then the rangers can uh, carry out their task without getting attacked. Uh, whereas I, I just send my rangers in, and if they survive, they survive. And if not, then there's always more where those came from. <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, but that's me and my. That's also what I do. I'm style. starting to think maybe I should use the flares. Usually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Tom Jurassic takes some incredible, incredible screenshots. Uh, next up, we've got another one in from Sage, the Paris Roll of his Lux skin, looking incredible in the San Diego um, map with the amphitheater in the background. Again, just. Just a really nice screenshot. I think this is mostly on an empty uh, sandbox as well, because there's not a lot of other buildings around. You don't need anything else. No, they're, the they're roaming around. They're, they're <laughs> having a good time. Uh, so we've got another one from the Mighty Megalosaurus, uh, using some of the new decorative pieces that we added in the latest update, uh, this being the Spinosaurus skeleton, and adding in some of the rocks, planters, and uh, greenery as well and just framing a really nice shot. I mean, it's a dinosaur skeleton, so it's technically a dinosaur screenshot, right? Sure. We'll, yeah. we'll let you have that one. Mm, thank you very much. <laughs> You're I very welcome. It. I know you were waiting for my approval, so. <laughs> <laughs> always, 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 always. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was really nice. And it's, uh, I'm you know, hoping to give people watching a bit of inspiration. And you know, so it's, it's always possible to put a lot of things into one place and just you know make it look nice. Try try out some different things. All right. Uh, this one comes in from Ashanta on our forums, and we've added in uh, with the with the latest update. We also added in uh, new aviary perch points, and so this is just a nice demonstration of the uh, perch points in action. You can also see a gyrosphere tour making its way through the aviary here while the uh, while the flying uh, reptiles are having a bit of a chill. I want to be in the gyrosphere. It's very safe in the gyrosphere. Yeah. They don't even, they're not even attacked, really. So, I mean, it's perfect <laughs> They're for not you. attacked, really. That's what concerns I mean, they're me. Not <laughs> as far as I can tell, they're not attacked, no, they're not. period. So, you could just, I mean, you we go to Jurassic World, you just <laughs> sit in the gyrosphere all the time. It's like, all right, I'm safe now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my new technique. It's fine. <laughs> uh, this next one comes in from uh, Arior, also from our forums. Uh, of a uh, of two Ura two Uranosauruses, one wearing the uh, one I I with the Camp Cretaceous variant, and then one that's just the uh, base game variant as well. And um, interestingly enough, in the game, these are technically considered different species, and that is how we added in the like same with the um, the Indominus and the Velociraptor mm. socializing. We had to do the same thing with these because they mm. are technically considered separate species, so we had to sort of add in separate behav uh, behavior for them to, to be uh, hanging out together. If you, uh, there's more information in the stream that I did with James Mulang about update two, so check that out on our YouTube channel. But it's also a very nice screenshot, and they're doing a bit of, you know, having some, some socialization there. Yeah. Yeah. No head boobs, but close enough. Little up. head boob, yeah. <laughs> Nose boop. <laughs> I <laughs> forgot about this one. <laughs> this is from IFD10 Noob. Uh, I forget which dinosaur this is, but as you can see, it is 100% holding up the Jurassic Tour. Uh, <laughs> 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 and uh, I just I saw it and I just thought that's very funny, and I I'm definitely going to feature <laughs> this <laughs> on the stream. As Heather points out, this is way too close for comfort. Uh, ah, yes, it's the uh, Giganotosaurus. Uh, bit too close for comfort, but I mean, that driver, pretty chill about the whole thing. I'm surprised that they're that chill. Yeah. I feel like I would be about six miles down the road by <laughs> that point. <laughs> he seems to be doing okay. Uh, he's just, I think he's just waiting for it to move, basically. As you do. <laughs> Dinosaur gets in your path, just patiently wait. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But yeah, way to go to uh, IFD10 Noob, or LFD10 Noob. Uh, next up from uh, one Mori over on Reddit, a bit of a recreation here of uh, Jurassic Park and the scene where the T-Rex uh, mm -hmm. bursts out of its enclosure. I thought it was just a really, really nice recreation of that scene, uh, especially with the, the two cars coming in at night with the, the sign on the side as well. And again, framing really, really, really good and just looks like something that could have been pulled almost directly from the film. Yeah, I can feel the tension of waiting for it to emerge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like 
punch through. <laughs> punch. Well, it doesn't punch, like it uses its head. Anyway. No, I like punch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one's from, yeah, speaking of T-Rex, this one comes in from Samuel and Sandy over on the fan discord. T-Rex caught in a storm out in, uh, I mean, what looks like a DFW style facility. Mm. It almost reminds me of an airport. <laughs> so I'm like worried that maybe a T-Rex got out and it's just now terrorizing. It's boarding a plane? It could be. <laughs> it's a bit too eh, it's a big enough plane. Yeah. They did do it in, I mean, no, that was a ship. Never mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, big enough plane. Maybe the T-Rex wants to go somewhere or maybe it just wants to cause a bit of havoc as they sometimes do. And then another one from Discord. This one comes in from Wolven Hunter. Also a very, very excellent screenshot mm. taker. F photographer, that's yeah. what I'm looking for. And my opinion of uh, these two dinosaurs, again, having a bit of a cuddle, a bit of a yeah. head boop. It's nice to see them being friendly. Yes. And I do like that they, even though they're carnivores, even though they're big and sort of intimidating, yeah. they can still, they can still get together and just be just nice be to each other. Just be friendly. Uh, this one from Cheems over on Discord, another amazing screenshot of the Indominus Rex. And I just, I really like how the lighting comes in from the left there, like mm. sort of framing it nicely and putting some nice shadows on it as well. And I think we've got one more, because we had 13 screenshots. Uh, and then uh, I put in... Uh, oh, I love the lighting. Check. Yeah, it's great lighting. I'm actually going to double check to see if I got the order correctly. I may have. Um, ah, my bad. Uh, the last one was Wolven Hunter. This one is from Cheese. Um, and uh, I think this is the Scorpius in yeah. the desert map. The lighting looks exceptional. Mm -hmm. And then there should be one more, I think. Yes. <gasps> Speaking of. Great lighting. Wow. Um, I want to look at chat now because I know they're watching. The person <laughs> who took the screenshot. Uh, this is from uh, Arcano Raptor, who has been sharing a bunch of really, really cool looking uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 screenshots over on their, um, over on their Twitter. Wow. And uh, I saw this one this morning and I thought to myself, this needs to be on the stream because their photography skills are really, really good. And uh, if Arachnoraptor is watching right now, amazing work. If uh, you out there watching want to check out their uh, stuff, just do a quick search for Arachnoraptor with a K on uh, Twitter, and uh, you should find their. Uh, you should be able to find their Twitter page right right away. Yeah. As Heather G says, they knocked it out of the park. They have done some oh, yeah. really incredible screenshots, and just yeah, the way they. I have no idea how they made this happen. I have <laughs> no I'm being idea. Honest. I'm sitting here trying to work it out. Like yeah. <laughs> it's just absolutely incredible the way they have set up the lighting in such a way that it makes this circle and just, yeah, amazing. They must have taken a lot of time and a lot of patience yeah, to get this right. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, really, really good stuff. All righty, um, I think we've got a bit of time to uh, talk a bit about the Camp Cretaceous uh, pack dinosaur pack competition that we've got going. So we uh, launched the uh, Camp Cretaceous dinosaur pack about two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. Two and a half. Two and a half. Yes, on the eighth of uh, March, we launched the uh, Camp Cretaceous dinosaur pack, which which had two new dinosaurs two new dinosaur variants and a bunch of really cool looking dinosaur skins. And so at the same time, we launched a, uh, a photo competition on our forums, basically asking uh, members of the community to recreate a scene from Camp Cretaceous, the Ooh. animated show. And uh, we've gotten in a lot of really cool entries so far, and I thought I wanted to show off some of them because there is still uh, you s there's still a week left for people to join in if they want to, and I highly encourage you to do so. And you can head on to our forums for all the competition details. And you can win, uh, among other things, let's see, uh, this backpack, well, not this specific backpack, <laughs> but a backpack that looks exactly like it, a uh, Jurassic World Evolution mug, it's either this one with the DFW logo or the uh, uh, enamel one, which also has a DFW logo, a hoodie that looks a lot like this, a t-shirt <laughs> that looks a lot like this, 
Potentially also a hoodie that looks a lot like the one mm. Fran is wearing. With uh, my hair out of the way. With the, the, uh, with the logo on the side there. <laughs> and there's also the, uh, there's some water bottles here that you can win, as well as the notebook over there, uh, which is what we're giving away in the, uh, in the competition. So please, if you uh, are a fan of Jurassic World Evolution 2, and if you're a fan of Camp Cretaceous, please join in and head to our forums, and then you have one week left to uh, to uh, send in your your screenshots and yeah Heather has been so kind and shared the uh, competition details over in Twitch and YouTube chat so let's take a quick look at some of the entries we've got now these aren't all of them but I wanted to share a bit of a selection because uh, you know it's it's cool to see and I wanted to showcase some some of the cool ones that we got now we have uh, Scorpius Rex is a huge part of Camp Cretaceous yeah, of, of course. course huge part of the Camp Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack, so I s assumed we would be getting a lot of Scorpius Rex themed screenshots, and we did. Uh, this one being of Scorpius Rex roaring into the air, as it is wont to do in the show. And I think what they've done with the, because um, you can see in the background, there's the tall uh, aviary perches, and I think they've used those to stand in for the tree houses in the oh. show. Which I think is a really nice and creative that's really twist. Clever. And then on the side there, I think that's a uh, restroom that sort of is used as a sort of hut, basically. Because, mm. well, spoiler warning, there is a part of the show where the uh, kids in Camp Cretaceous, they make this sort of makeshift mm. sort of base, basically. And uh, Scorpius Rex attacks and they manage to, to flee. But it's really, they've really nicely uh, recreated that part of the show. So I wanted to, to showcase it. Uh, if you don't have the game, can they still participate in the competition? Well, we're asking you to take a screenshot from the game, but I mean, if you know someone who has the game yeah. and has the pack, then you can have them. You can take a screenshot with them. Maybe yeah. share some of the prizes. I mean, yeah, that's, that's always an option. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another Scorpius <laughs> Rex screenshot, roaring in the rain, uh, uh, similar to the previous one. Also a recreation of uh, a scene here. I think the. What they've done with sort of the minimal lighting and like creating yeah. sort of uh, not necessarily the negative space, but like using yeah the minimal lighting to to th full effect is really cool here. Uh, this I oh think wow. is a scene from season four. Very dynamic, very cool screenshot. Yeah, for sure. And uh, this is the Big Et versus Pierce fight, and uh, Pierce being one of the variants that we introduced in the pack. Uh, for the Kentrosaurus and Big E.T. being a T-Rex skin. And mm -hmm. uh, I think in the show, at least one of the fight scenes has sort of pulled back and sort of side by side. But I really like this one as a sort of more dynamic in action screenshot. And I'm very curious to know how long this took to sort of set up because yeah. they have to be in front of the building as well. Because <laughs> exactly. in the show, the fight takes place in front of a very, speci like in a very specific yeah. place. So it's really cool how they've uh, managed to set all this up. I feel like that must have taken hours to recreate, yeah, to get I them exactly so. in the right position, and that's such a good angle as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, next up, another Pierce versus Big <laughs> E.T. fight uh, from a uh, separate side. Also looks really, really cool. I love how sort of non plus the Kentrosaurus yeah, looks not at, at, at the T-Rex. <laughs> like, oh, it's a T-Rex, yeah, it's fine. I've got spikes fine. on my tail, just, <laughs> just hit in the head. Um, uh, but yeah, really cool looking, nice looking screenshot. And then finally, uh, again, we're back to the Scorpius Rex. And uh, I'm surprised uh, this one was included because I don't think this is one of the sort of known sort of big moments, but there is mm -hmm. a moment in Camp Cretaceous where the uh, Scorpius Rex takes out a Ceratosaurus, and that is what they've recreated here. And I like how they've framed the shot using uh, the foliage from the trees yeah, it's to really nice make frame. it look very sort of up close and personal. It's almost like a nature documentary. It really does actually. Style I shot. can hear David Attenborough just like. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to try to do a David Attenborough. By oh, the way, it's terrible. Drat. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, so. These were five ones that I wanted to to highlight on the stream because I think I, know, I thought they looked really really good. And uh, there is time, as I said before, there is still time to participate in the competition. You can win some really, really amazing looking prizes. And uh, I hope you uh, hope you join in. But yeah, there's uh, links in the uh, chats, both on YouTube and on Twitch. So uh, uh, jump in on that right away. It's 
pretty, I, I'm not going to necessarily say it's pretty simple. I mean, it's difficult sometimes to get the dinosaurs yeah. to fight. It's difficult to get them to fight in the same place. But yeah, recreate a scene from the show using as much or as little decoration as you want and uh, send it in to us. And uh, I can't wait to see what people send in, what more they send in. And I think that takes us to about the end of the stream. It's almost as if I planned it that way. <laughs> nice. <laughs> timing. Perfect timing. I know. Sometimes, sometimes I Sometimes I managed to, to do it <laughs> properly. <laughs> but yeah, that is going to be it for this month's Community Spotlight. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing all the amazing park designs and incredible screenshots that our amazing community shared. If you want to be featured on a, feature, on a future <laughs> Community Spotlight, uh, feel free to share your screenshots to our forums or share them on the uh, subreddit. You can post them to the uh, fan Discord as well, which I sometimes check now and again. And uh, you can also just tag us on uh, Twitter and just ask like, hey, where can I send these in? And I can, uh, we can figure something out in DMs or something. Uh, that'd be really, really cool. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Fran. Thanks for having for me. For joining me on the sofas. Your first stream. That flew by. For Jurassic, over and done with. Yeah. Yeah. Over and done. <laughs> is it that horrible having me? No, I'm, uh, no, I'm <laughs> trying to, you know. But yeah, that's your yeah. first stream. Yeah. In the bag. It's good. Thanks. Yeah, you did really well. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Jurassic World Evolution 2 out now, of course. Uh, you can pick up the uh, Camp Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack on Steam, Epic, PlayStation, and Xbox. Uh, thank you so much to the mod team for keeping it down in chat and helping out. And uh, yeah, we will be back next week with a new Jurassic World Evolution 2 live stream. But until then, from myself and from Fran, Goodbye.